Good morning, good morning. Back here at home base, Iron Heaven here in Stonegate, West Omaha, getting ready to go through a push session. Uh, this one is a little bit unique. Last time uh, I had a push session up, I let AI lead the way and it went well. But this time uh, I'm going to try something a little bit more old school. Uh, you could call it archaic. Uh, by today's standards of knowledge and uh, movement and whatnot. I'm going to do a push routine inspired by uh, Steve Michalik. So if you don't know who Steve Michalik is, uh, he is kind of the, he is the, the, the brainchild between the intensity or insanity style of training. Uh, John Defendus most notably is a person who's won with it. He won Mr. USA back in the 80s. And Michelik was a champion in his own right, winning a couple of titles here and there, um, placing high in some IFBB shows, and I think even getting to the Mr. Olympia. I'm not sure. Uh, if you know, please correct me if I'm wrong. But in any event, going to do uh, a routine uh, that is inspired by that, but with a few modifications. Um, a routine is just a roadmap. It's just a layout. There's many different ways to get to your destination, but sometimes you just gotta choose uh, which ways you're gonna go. So changing some movements up, I will put the workout up uh, as a clip here, but really what I want you all to focus on is the amount of volume, and I also want you to focus on the effort that's given. Even though it is a lot of volume, um, you know, high effort is still given. So. Not as strong as I used to be, but I can still move pretty well, so we're gonna get into it. All right, so a lot of the work sets that were within this routine, uh, again, inspired by Steve Michalik, uh, start off with six sets for flies, and then every subsequent exercise for chess was another six sets. Um, so, well, correction, four sets, and then six for bench press, six for decline, and it was supposed to be six for incline, but I ended up doing four, because at that point I was roasted. So the flies were four sets of 15, and this right here you see is uh, six sets. Now, here's something to keep in mind in that I did not have any reps listed. I only had sets listed. So this read as six sets for uh, bench press, decline press, and hammer press, or incline, incline press. So I was kind of flying blind. So I, I I was just of the thought process, okay, this is a bench press. I'm not an efficient presser anymore. I was never a fit, an efficient presser. I was never a good presser. So I'm just going to keep it in this rep range of six to eight and then just go from there because the volume, the fatigue would accumulate pretty fast. So that's something that you have to draw from when you've been training for a while and that you can call an audible uh, almost immediately in your training session. So again, a lot, a lot of volume here, a lot, a lot of volume. Um, you can say that, uh, most of this exercise sequencing was junk volume. There's literally zero. Well, I'm not going to say zero, but there's, there's not a ton of sense, although you can make it 
makes sense doing six sets of an exercise. Um, but with that being said, uh, as I'm talking into this microphone right now, my chest is pretty much thrashed. Uh, very, very deep soreness. And I know, I know the science nerds are going to come out and say soreness isn't an indicator of growth. I mean, but it's, it's an indicator of a lot of work being done in a, in a hell of a workout, which is essentially what I'm after right now. Um, keep in mind that this is for therapeutic stuff right now as I am going through a big life change uh, here at the moment. So I'm just trying to get through some sessions, trying to get some work in. And that's why I've just given up uh, my programming to uh, routines that I've seen. Definitely cutting down on the volume today because, uh, golly, Steve's a nut. Yeah, I'm on my last exercise, but shit, this ain't no joke. So one more set, that'll make it four of the incline press. Then move on to uh, abbreviated shoulders, abbreviated triceps. Because so I do have to get up out of here. So let's get moving. Moving on to shoulders, uh, these were supposed to be sets of five or five sets rather. I think I did five sets here. I'm not completely sure. I didn't. I didn't really keep track on a written notepad or anything. But in any event, it was supposed to be five. I probably ended up doing four just for the sake of time, uh, because the amount of tricep work that I had was ridiculous as well, and I just quite frankly did not have the time for it. So I had to cut it down a wee bit. So uh, in any event, when you're doing volume training, when you're when you're working as hard as you humanly can against an exterior force for multiple sets, multiple reps, it's very, very important to stay locked into the workout, especially when it comes to volume training. It's a good reason why I say and others have said uh, volume is finite. There's only so much you can do before your body just starts to go. No, this is too much. And I definitely felt that midway through the workout. So at this point, I'm just running off a of pure motivation and a bullheadedness to get things done. Now, as far as Steve Michalik's intensity or insanity goes, I, I mean, I'm not a fan. Uh, I think it's just excessive. I think it's a lot. And I, I, I barely did maybe a third of what was listed. Uh, I got through the chest relatively decent, but other than that, it was just a lot more volume than what I was accustomed to. It was a lot more volume than what I was expecting. Uh, sets could have been all the way up to in the 60s, 70s, and that's just something that I wasn't prepared for. Um, well, I was prepared for it. I just didn't want to do it in, re in regards to time. So uh, with that being said, uh, that's the Michelin inspired workout all done for today. And um, yeah, don't think I'd recommend it. I really don't. Even if you are well fed, it was just a lot of volume. All right, we're all done. In the interest of saving you boring stuff, I'm going to do tricep press downs, uh, 125 total reps just to get a lot a lot of blood in the tricep i trained arms on saturday so there's no reason to whack them with a bunch of stuff but i do want to get in some extra volume so i'll do that but that that is the steve michelin inspired workout there was a lot more for triceps and for shoulders but it, again in the interest of time i don't want to miss the first prayer i'm gonna just finish up and go home so with that being said uh, if you have any questions please uh, let me know what you think of this video. Like, subscribe. I'm just doing workouts that I've seen in magazines and whatnot for the time being until I can get settled in uh, into what I'm planning. So uh, just, gro just grooving along. So if you like what you see, 
please let me know and I'll keep doing it. All right, but until then, it's Larry Brown signing out.